Welcome to Six Flags Crystal Pistol. Have y'all had a great evening at Six Flags? We sure have. We hope you've had the chance to hang out, visit, enjoy yourself in the rides, in the shows, in the games, and throughout the park. Aaron Burnett, Southwest District Representative from Mitchell County, will lead the American Pledge. Aaron? In August of 1892, a man by the name of Francis Bellamy wrote some of the most patriotic words that America has ever recited. Though you may not recognize his name, I know you will recognize the oath he wrote for his fellow Americans. Please stand and join me in the pledge to the American flag. Thank you, Erin. Dowdy White, State 4 H President from Cripps County, will introduce our guests. For 70 years, Georgia 4 Hers have gathered together to celebrate their achievement and project work. Each year, we are pleased to have a number of friends and supporters with us. We are appreciative of Six Flags for allowing us to come and play in their park this evening. Thank you, Ms. Alana Montoya, for being with us this evening. Fellow 4 Hers, please join me in showing support for Six Flags. In the balcony, let's recognize our district extension heads and 4 H PDCs. From Northeast District, Mr. Norman McGowan and Mr. Al Parker. From Northwest District, Mr. Greg Price and Dr. Lori Purcell Bledsoe. From Southeast District, Mr. Lanny Lanier and Mrs. Kathy Baldwin. And from Southwest District, Dr. Laura Perry Johnson. Also, please welcome our Associate Dean for Extension, Dr. Beverly Sparks. Our Director of County Operations, Mr. Tony Tyson. Our Assistant Dean for Extension, Dr. Steve Brown. And our State 4-H Leader, Mr. Art Smith. Will all of our Extension agents, program assistants, volunteers, and parents please stand? Thank you, Daddy. Six Flags is a state congress tradition dating back 16 years, and we are so excited to be back here again. Jordan DeWitt, State 4 H representative from Ware County, will introduce our evening stoner. Jordan? Enjoying the screen machine, flying like Superman, and chatting over chicken. All of these are made possible by the support of our corporate donor, the Chevron Company. Long before we piled into buses to head to Six Flags, the Chevron Company not only supported State 4-H Congress, but the 4-H program in a whole. Thank you, Chevron, for your unwavering support. Kevin. Thank you, Jordan. And now for the moment we've been waiting for, the announcement of winners. Mr. Charlie Wurst and Ms. Mandy Marable will announce the 2012 project winners. Mr. Charlie and Ms. Mandy. third and second to come forward for medallions and call the first place winner to come forward for a medallion and also two letters one for you 
and one for your leader. And that's very important that you pick those up. So let's begin. Performing Arts Other. Third place, JT Edgar Evans. Second place, Bryce Shackelford Raven. And our first place winner, Isaac Williams, Raven Hill. Recreation. Our third place winner, Lucas Holford. Our second place, Ashton Black, Chris. And our first place winner, Will Murphy. Human Development. Our third place winner, Brittany Garcia, Toombs. Our second place winner, Victoria Hall, Chatunga. And our first place winner, Mallory Talbot. Hostetler Gordon, our second place winner, Timmy Smith, Tim, and our first place winner, Megan Mitchell. Okay. For entomology. Our third place winner, Preston Brown, Montgomery. Second place winner, Tiffany Alexander, Rockdale. And our first place winner, Courtney Gale. is Aurora Curbo from Caldwell County. Our second place winner is Rosie Reeves from Versailles. And our first place winner is Bailey Gilbert. In the Beef Project, our third place winner is Joel Knowles from Dodge. Our second place winner is Claire Woodard from Morgan. And our first place winner is Gibson Priest from Gordon. Physical, Biological, and Earth Sciences. Our third place winner is Kristen Larkin from Chris County. Our second place winner is Abby Harrison from Hart County. And our first place winner is Lauren Posey.
for Power and Energy. Our third place winner is Joseph Ashley from Malton County. Our second place winner is William Holder from Newton County. And our first place winner is Rachel Allen. For conservation of natural resources, our third place winner is Jed Paws of Spalding County. Our second place winner is Amber Duberly from Tattnall County. And our first place winner, Alec Joyner. Moving to Flowers, Shrubs, and Lawns. Our third place winner is Jenny Surratt, Cherokee County. Our second place winner is Emily Harvey, Johnson County. And our first place winner is Caroline Dunn. In the Festive Foods for Health project, our third place winner is Stephen Roll, Seminole County. Our second place winner is Allie LaKay for Sign. And our first place winner is Kathy Carpenter, Johnson County. Mr. Charles? All right, Miss Randy, thank you. Y'all give me just a second. I'll let him get through the picture. Okay. Ashley James. <laughs> Our second place winner, Josh Lewis of Evans County. And our new master forager in wildlife and marine science is Jared Lee of Hall <laughs> County. In the public speaking project, third place from Raven County, Kayla Mullen. Our second place winner is Juwan Jackson of Good County. And first place goes to John L. Simpson of Seminole County. goes to Carissa Peachy from Randolph County. Second place winner is Jonathan Fox of Oconee County. And our state winner this year is Caitlin Hall of Athens County.
in the communications project. Third place goes to Brandon Cherry of Jenkins County. Second place is Forsyth County's Justin Flory. And first place in communications goes to Hugh Slayton of Lee County. Performing Arts General. Third place goes to Quentin Brasher of Chattooga County. Second place is Sha Debro of Varto County. And our Master 4 H'er in Performing Arts General this year is Tafara Brown of County. Decent year. <laughs> In court production, third place, Megan Oliver of Tattnall County. Our second place winner is Pickens County's Marissa King. And first place in court production is Hunter Nelson of Powers County. In the History Project. Third place goes to Anthony Contanzariti of Tattle County. And Anthony, I'm sorry about that if I got it wrong. Second place, Sawyer Meadows of Seminole County. Our state winner in history is Ashley Hollinshead of Hart County. In the horse project, third place goes to Alyssa Pollock of Forsyth County. Second place, Tori Jones of Walton County. And first place in horse, Amy Goddard of Coyote County. Fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Third place, Anna Miner from Hall County. Our second place winner is Oakley Perry of Jeff Davis County. First place goes to Deanne Taylor of Jeff County. goes to Savannah Porter of Bartow County. Our second place winner is Rachel Luoma of Columbia County. First place, Master 4 Hater in Health, Nick Eason, Tottenham County. In plant and soil science, 
Our third place winner is Ashley Carroll of Crawford County. Second place in Planting Soil Science goes to Brandon Page of Emanuel County. And our first place winner, Planting Soil Science, Nat Bottom for the Bullet County. And housing, equipment, and environment. Are we still waiting for a win? There we go. Housing, equipment, and environment. In third place, Haley Schofield of Turner County. In second place, Peter Chris Asperitas of Emanuel County. And our Master 4 H State winner in housing, equipment, and environment, Andrew Smith of Union County. This man is your turn. Okay, in the general recreation project, 
Our third place winner is Ashley Thigpen of Charlton County. Our second place winner is Ansley Jordan of Clark County. And our first place winner is Erin Burnett. Training project. Our third place winner is Kane Bentley of Morgan County. Our second place winner is Amber Smith of Lee County. And our first place winner is Phaedra Vicker. Nicholas Bryant of Madison County. Our second place winner is Vishnu Ramachandran of Gwinnett County. And our first place winner, Master 4 Rancher, is Zachary Wood of Madison County. Bacon County. Our second place winner, Julia Whitaker, Morgan County. And our first place winner is Christian Anna Pesce. Nicole Winter of Turner County. Our second place winner is Emily Barnes of Butts County. And our new master for winter is Brianna Hall of <laughs> And in the photography project, our third place winner is Jonathan Tomberlin of Ben Hill County. Our second place winner is Hunter Howell of Jones County. And our first place winner is Josh Townsend, Douglas County. In the textiles, merchandising, and interiors project, our third place winner is Maya Matt of Baldwin County. Our second place winner is Holly Reeves of Forsyth County. And our master forager is Rachel Moore of Turner County. Mr. Charlie? Thank you. Thank you. Thank As we get ready to make this last round of announcements, I, I have a poorly deserved reputation of being somewhat crazy, and um, I'd like to rectify that. I think we all know the great value that 4-H has had in each one of our lives. And to honor that, I'm going to ask, we're going to go around the room and everybody's going to say one word that says what 4-H means to them. We'll start with you right over here. No, I'm kidding. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Let's have 12 final winners. Here we go. Performing Arts Boca. Our third place winner is Rachel Grinsley of Seminole County. In second place, Brianna Wilson of Jones County. And our master 4 -er in vocal, Michael Woods. Hands up.
Eat Food Fair. Our third place winner is Kayla Jenkins of Long County. Second place, Tatiana O'Hara of Paulding County. And first place in food fair is Nicholas Waters of Patna County. Third place in environmental science goes to James Hicks of Butts County. Our second place winner is Holly Kite of Jeff Davis County. And our new master 4 h in environmental science is Andrew Day of the Boston County. Our second place winner is Bailey Culverhouse of Houston County. And your new Master 4 h in piano is Kristen Morris of International project. Third place goes to Zara Latawala of Fayette County. Our second place winner is Sally Miller of Glen County. And our state winner in international, Clay Hurdle of Long County. Veterinary Science. Third place goes to Annika Carr of Gordon County. Second place is Blakely County's Santa Go. And our state winner in vet science is Jake Hager of Lee County. of DeKalb County. Your Master 4-H or State winner this year in Workforce Prep is Kevin Brasky of Boston County. Sports. Third place goes to Julie Wood of Madison County. Second place is Katie Earls of Toons County. And congratulations to our winner, Aaron Kelly of Spartan County.
in computers. Y'all in computers, we're gonna have to announce these scores later because there was a computer glitch in our school. Um, in computers, third place goes to Ken Galloway of Newton County. Our second place winner is Dowdy White of Crisp County. And the new Master 4 h in Computers is Janet Garner of Cherokee County. In the sports project, third place goes to Madison Holbert of Gordon County. Our second place winner in sports is Elizabeth Robinson of Murray County. And our state winner in sports, A.J. Wells of Murray County. Sheep and Meat Goats, our third place winner, is Christopher Harris of Webster County. Second place in Sheep and Meat Goats goes to Haley Cook of Heard County. And our first place winner, Sheep and Meat Goats, Jamie Webb of Albert County. And finally this evening, in the safety project, in third place is Philip Harris of Berrien County. Second place goes to Bailey Rucker of Jeff Davis County. And our first place winner in the safety project is Morgan Morris of Cork County. directly to our buses. Please do not stop at the concession stands or restrooms. Return to the same bus you arrived on. Back at the hotel, you may use lobby phones or visit the hospitality suite before returning to your room. You may not order food to be delivered outside of the hotel. Everyone should be in their room by 11.45. When we return, please be sure that you are quiet in the halls because many of the hotel's guests may be asleep. State winners. The 48 of you whose names were just called, you have a very important meeting at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Please come dressed for your assigned tour and be on time. 
We will be talking about the donor reception and the annual banquet, and it is very important that you are on time. The meeting is in Dunwoody C. Tomorrow morning's breakfast begins at 8.15 a.m. in the ballroom. It is a buffet. You will get your plate and be seated with your tour group. Once inside the ballroom, look for the table with your tour on it. For donor tours, the dress should be coat and tie. For educational tours, the dress should be slacks and collared shirts. No tennis shoes, t-shirts, or shorts are allowed for the tours. You should already be dressed for your tour when you arrive for breakfast. If you have not already done so, go by the computer station at the information booth and upload your photos for the blog and slideshow. Instructions are at the station. To conclude our program, Tess Hammock from Mon of Monroe County and our Northeast District representative will lead the 4-H pledge, after which our program is adjourned. Tess? Please stand and join me in celebrating our successes as I pledge my head to clear thinking.